Hey guys, check this out. Here's a picture of my teeth with disclosing solution after using the gum manual toothbrush. Now let me explain what that picture means in terms of how well this toothbrush performs as a whole and how I like it in terms of a manual toothbrush. How well this toothbrush performs. I feel like we're about to discuss a sports car or something. Anyway, hey guys, I'm Christina, the hygienist, here to give quality answers to your dental questions. Uh, today I'm going to be reviewing the Gum365 manual toothbrush as requested by one of my viewers. So let's get straight into it. Overall, I love the concept of this toothbrush. The concept being, as you can see, some thinner bristles all the way from the base of the toothbrush to the very tip. Um, the, the blue bristles here are the thinner ones, supported by a slightly thicker, uh, shorter bristles, just so the thin ones don't really splay out when you're using the toothbrush. The reason why I like this concept is because the thinner bristles get very nicely underneath your gums and around all the nooks and crannies of your teeth, unlike a typical single length bristled manual toothbrush. Oh, it's like pouring rain now. Welcome to Seattle. Anyway, the problem I have with this toothbrush though is that the thin bristles here are just a little bit more stiff than I would like. There's a toothbrush that I really love to use. It's called the Nimbus toothbrush. It has a similar configuration to this, but the, the bristles at the tip here are a little bit softer. Not by a lot, but noticeably. The reason why I'm such a stickler about the softness or the stiffness of the thin brush bristles is because the thinner and stiffer they are, the more damage they could incur on your teeth and your gums. Just as a kind of analogy, think of like your finger, right? And say I were to brush my teeth with my finger. It's stiff, but there's so much surface area that it's not gonna cause a ton of damage to my teeth or my gums. In fact, it's not really gonna brush my teeth very well at all. Have you ever brushed your teeth with your finger? It kind of sucks. But say now you introduce a needle point to your teeth, right? It's pretty stiff, but it's also very thin. And try scraping that with your teeth. You're gonna incur a ton of damage. So the stiffer those thin bristles are, the more dangerous, um, the more damage they could cause to your teeth. So that being said, I am not a huge fan of this toothbrush. As you saw in the picture, and I'll show it to you one more time here, it does remove the plaque pretty well. So it does its job, right? You do see some pink kind of around my uh, Invisalign buttons or attachments there, and just kind of some natural crack lines or uh, little ditches in my teeth there. But over Overall, it gets the job done in terms of removing the plaque from uh, along the gum line. By the way, if you guys are like, what is this pink stuff? What is she talking about? Disclosing solution. I've made a couple of videos on what disclosing solution is as well as how to use it. So make sure to check out those videos. I'll have a link down below if you'd like to check that out later. I think everybody should use disclosing tablets or disclosing solution at one point in their lives just to see how well they're brushing or spots that they're missing. It's a great educational tool both for adults and children. So it does do the work it's supposed to do, but I would say the Nimbus toothbrush that I rave about um, still does a better job in terms of just providing more comfort when brushing my teeth. So something to think about. I would say the gum toothbrush is a little bit cheaper than the Nimbus, but you get what you paid for. So overall, uh, a short answer to your question, if it's a good brush or not, it's decent, but there are better toothbrushes out there, namely the Nimbus, still a huge fan. So if you guys are interested in trying out either one, I'll include a link down below. Also, if you're like, what the heck is a Nimbus toothbrush? I've actually made a video where I review that particular toothbrush on its own as well. So feel free to check that out. I'll drop a link to that video as well. Otherwise, if you guys have any other questions about this toothbrush or the Nimbus or any other questions, feel free to comment them below and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. And with that, I'd like to thank you for watching and take care of your teeth.